hydropeptides here. So today I'm going to make a video of uh, how to build an acrylic display for uh, the reptile shows to display your animals uh, very nicely and uh, in, a, in a neat neat fashion because this uh, will always help you to get uh, better clients. So uh, here uh, are all the parts that I'm going to be using or at least most of them. Uh, there is no uh, lightning stuff in here so basically this is these are only the acrylic parts that uh, the bis the display will be built off so uh it will be black so here are the parts for the main uh main compartment let's say main parts of the display these are the bottoms and the longer sides here are the dividers to the inside and here we have um the acrylic uh, tops which are transparent they already have uh, holes in them uh, so so the airflow will be uh, will be okay then uh, we have uh, an acrylic hinges which will look nicely on the acrylic display yeah and here is a glue that uh, the company that i got the the parts from developed and uh, it's supposed to stick it very well so we'll see about that and uh, what else? Here we have uh, two pieces of wood, and I'm going to be using those only to to have uh, 90 degrees angles on the while building, and this will make a cover for the table, so I won't damage it if I spray the the glue on it or something like that. So, all right. So I unwrapped everything uh, from the packing foil, and as you can see, um, let's start maybe with these. These are the black pieces that the whole display will be built off and these are the dividers you can see this part cut out here it will be for the lightning actually which i will talk about it later in the video um, here is the glue it's a liquid so it will be easy to to glue let's say it's the syringe to to, to do it um, here are the transparent pieces that will be on the top um, as you can see there are drilled holes already and it's all dirty and scratch and messy but it has a protection film on both sides so after I take it off it will look uh, nice and clean and then we got uh, hinges which are also acrylic and uh, they will be glued with the same glue and it will look nice uh, after it's done here is the bottom piece of the display and here is uh, for now let's say it's the back so what we're going to do is we're going to glue it like this and we're going to see um, and we're going to start with this so uh, then we're going to go ahead and uh, put the the sides and the dividers and at the end we're going to we're going to glue the front so basically also another tip um, the the pieces were laser cut so the edges are nice and uh, nice and flat, clean, because if if they were cut with the saw, then you would have to um, take the sandpaper and uh, basically make them uh, smoother before claying, uh, before gluing. But this way, uh, I can already start uh, gluing. I only uh, removed some of the dust after removing the the protection foil. You can still see some here, but. It's not relevant as long as there is none on the place where we're gonna we're gonna glue it okay so I got the glue inside the syringe now I can uh, go ahead and start uh, start gluing I already prepared here everything um, that it will line up perfectly so let's go ahead and uh, apply the glue
under the flashlight it all looks dirty and stuff but I'm gonna clean it later after it's it's glued so yeah you can see it's a little bit of markings but uh, maybe I, I put a little bit too much glue in here but that's not a big deal after it dries up there should be no sign of it so okay and already after a minute or so you can already feel that it's pretty good connection it's hardened pretty much but uh, it's supposed to stay for uh, 15 minutes or so to dry up uh, and after a few hours it should be totally dry okay so uh, as you can see there's quite a bit of uh, progress here um, I already got uh, the back glued and all the dividers as you can see so it's looking pretty good now let's go ahead and uh, glue the front and uh, let's see how it looks with the transparent pieces on top so the front is already glued so basically the whole box is complete and uh, here you can see those um, slits or cuts whatever you want to call it and there will be a uh, lightning installed over here and here is the glass that I'm gonna be using and it's gonna look somewhat like this okay and it's gonna open like that um, eh. let's cut exactly as it should be it's hard to put like that so basically Maybe I'll put it here so you know what I'm talking about. Ah, oh, damn it. Maybe I'll put it this way. Oh, okay. So, uh, something like this. Of course, it's all dirty with all the uh, protection, protection foil. But uh, it will open like that. So, it should work pretty well. So, there is still uh, protection foil on the sides. On the outsides of the, of the hole. Mm whole display all right so uh, two parts of the display are already built and um, I put one of the top of the other one just to show you how I'm gonna stack it all together and then the third one will be on top and this whole thing will be inside the case which I'm gonna build at the very end so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna uh, go ahead and glue together the third third piece and then at the very end I'm gonna put the transparent tops on the uh, on on each of the part of the display uh, and I'm gonna mount the hinges so after that what, what I'm gonna have to do is mount the lightning and maybe put some stickers on it so then with it will be basically ready and then I'll have to figure out uh, out of what material should I build the case but uh, I guess I'll figure out figure it out as I go now let's talk about lightning for the display so what I'm gonna be using is a uh, strap of an LED lights and uh, it's gonna be mounted in an uh, aluminum uh, rail like this one I uh, I took a black one because the display will be black so it will look nicer as you can see there is also a uh, transparent plastic cover uh, that uh, that is covering the the lights so they're not exposed so basically what I had to do is uh, I had to solder the cables to the to the strap and then I also put some uh, soldering on the on the end of the of the cables so it will be easier to plug into the DC source and I also have to uh, mount the uh, covers for the ends over here and as you can see it looks like that so basically this one is already done I have to I have to mount it uh, into the into the display and it will look uh, pretty cool I think so now let's go ahead and uh, assemble this one okay so I assembled the lightning so let's go ahead and plug it in and see how it works yeah, it's pretty good so it's pretty light I don't know how well you can see it on the camera or on the video but uh, it's pretty bright so uh, uh, now let's go ahead and uh, and mount the transparent tops uh, to the display before I mount the, the lightning onto the display.
Now it's time to mount uh, the hinges and actually mount the transparent tops onto the display. So uh, as you can see as a test, I uh, mounted one with the double sided tape. So it will be easier for me to uh, dis disassemble. And as you can see, it opens pretty well. So uh, makes some uh, weird noises, but anyway, it will uh, work out well. So now let's go ahead and uh, remove the foil and uh, mount the hinges as they should be. I mounted the hinges, so now it opens uh, pretty nicely. I also took off the protective foil of, of the transparent parts and this is how it looks like. It opens pretty nice, pretty smooth. Well, this one makes some funny sounds, but uh, yeah, keep in mind that most of the time it's going to be closed, so no one will notice the sounds. And I pro I believe that in time it will uh, stop doing that, I guess. But um, yeah, but that's what it looks like for now. Um, let's go ahead and uh, mount it on uh, all the pieces. And then the next step will be to install the lightning. Alright, so I got the lightning installed. And as you can see, it's glowing pretty nicely. Um, I've put some stuff uh, into the display so you can see how how it's glowing because when there's nothing inside you cannot really tell but uh, as you can see when there's something inside it glows pretty nicely and the lightning is hidden right here inside this aluminum uh, rail so basically if you're standing uh, like here as a customer you cannot really see the light but you can see the the everything that it's uh, that is inside pretty well so that's cool maybe there's a little bit of a reflection on over here but it's not a big deal so so yeah so basically that's what it looks like there will be some cables sticking out of here but uh, they will all connect into one uh, uh, one connector and one uh, DC source so this will be easy to to wire all right uh, so uh, let's talk about the case now for a little bit as you can see, I've already built it, although it's not uh, it's not ready yet. Um, it's just uh, glued together, and uh, what I actually used for this uh, were uh, this kind of pieces of uh, thin wood. It's uh, three meter millimeters uh, thick. <clears throat> I used uh, black color as the display is black, although it won't matter, as you will see later on in the video. But um, I think it will match good with the display. And uh, this is called a uh, MDF. And uh, here in my country, I don't know if it's a universal name or not. But uh, it's just a thin pieces of wood, wood-like material. So, uh, so that is it. <clears throat> and the whole um, case is built out of it. And on the corners, you can see there are these plastic uh, plastic pieces that are glued on the sides, and this is what is actually keeping it all together. And this is just a uh, triangular piece of plastic. It's cut here, but uh, I'm only showing it to you so you know what what I'm talking about. And I used uh, some type of uh, universal glue that is. Uh, gluing all the surfaces together and this is a pretty strong bond I tried uh, moving it a little bit and it uh, it won't do anything and uh, as you can see there is a lot of glue coming out but it's pretty easy to clean off even from here you can just use your uh, use your nail and you can see it's it's all gone and when it comes out like this you can just cut it with a knife and uh, you don't see it at all, but I didn't cut it yet because uh, I wanted to show you. And then what I'm going to be using uh, are going to be these uh, two locks that uh, I'm going to mount uh, like this. But it will be mounted uh, somewhat like this and it will be holding the whole case together. <coughs> As you can see it's, it's not perfect. 
but like I said, it's only to protect the display that is inside. Of course, uh, the the display will be standing on this, but it will be covered uh, uh, with a cotton wrap, so you won't be able to see it actually. And the the locks I'm gonna mount with uh, screws, so I'll have to drill some holes in here and uh, mount it all together. Also, let me show it to you on the inside. Let me pause for a minute. So here is the case uh, on the inside and as you can see there is still some glue sticking out but uh, I'm not gonna even cut it out because uh, no one will even see it and it doesn't uh, do any anything uh, bad let's say maybe it's even better the bond is better I don't know but anyway um, it doesn't really matter on the inside I just wanted to show you how it looks and uh, what I'm gonna do next is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut off the, the glue on the pieces that I didn't yet and I'm gonna go ahead and mount uh, mount the, the locks let's say on the sides and uh, we're gonna see how it looks alright so I've mounted the, the locks and I also removed the glue from the from the sides and as you can see there are some marks over here that's because I used a permanent marker to uh, eliminate the white glue, let's say. Um, because uh, even though I cut it off, there were still uh, parts that were uh, coming out. So I used the marker to mostly get rid of it. And uh, also, I, uh, I kind of colored the, the edges over there. So let me unlock it. Uh, just from the one side so you can see. There we go. So I colored the edges so it it actually looks looks better because the brown was uh, also sticking out. Let me close this one. And when it's locked it's pretty much uh, very stable. So I guess uh, the box is basically ready. Like I said, when the display will be all out, you won't be able to see it. That's why it's not perfectly you know, uh, clean or, or perfectly glued and stuff like this because no one will be able to see it. This is mainly for transportation and uh, so the display inside won't get damaged. And basically, I guess it's ready. So now let's go ahead and move back to the display itself because uh, as I mentioned earlier in the video, I didn't have any idea of uh, how to make uh, some kind of locks so the snakes won't be able to open the transparent tops but I guess uh, I figured out something for at least at least for now maybe I don't know if it will be uh, a permanent uh, solution or I will figure out something better but uh, let's go ahead and let me show you what I figured out alright so I mounted the locks as you can see this is how they look up close keep in mind that this is all dirty I will clean it up later on, but um, this is how the locks look like, and uh, they work pretty well. This is close. To, uh, you can actually lift the whole display by the glass, uh, and it won't open. So let me show you how I did it. Uh, I used uh, this piece of plastic right, right here. It's basically the same one that I used uh, for the corners of the case, but this one is uh, a little bit bigger. And uh, I also used uh, what it's called a uh, hook and loop tape. So uh, this is what it looks like. I bought it in a hardware store. And uh, you get uh, one strap which is uh, soft and one strap that is uh, sharp. And uh, basically what I did is... Uh, I cut the plastic into a piece like this. I glued uh, the so a soft piece of tape over here, like this, and the hard, uh, the sharp piece went over here. As you can see, it's basically lined up with the top of the of the case here. And if you want to close it, you just go like this. There we go. And it stays locked pretty well. You can also just do something like this and it will open very easily. You won't have to actually take it apart. 
The other cool thing is that because these pieces are sticking out a little bit, this is pretty thin, you can actually stack one on the other without uh, removing these because uh, at, at first I thought I will have to you know, remove them completely, uh, store it like this, you know, keep them inside or somewhere and, uh, and uh, at the show I would have to put them all together but this way I can actually keep them on for the whole time and I can just you know do something like this to open it put it back like this works perfect uh, now I'm only wondering uh, for how long will this tape uh, last but uh, from what I've read it should uh, it should be enough for uh, over uh, as you can see here 10,000 removes or I don't know how to call it but uh, I can basically put it on and off 10,000 times so this is, you know on the show it will be probably removed maybe three four times but uh, but yeah so uh, that's what it looks for now let me go ahead and uh, clean the table a little bit and try to put the display uh, as it should be on the on the on the show and show you how it looks Alright, so the whole display is uh, standing as it should be on the on the show. Although keep in mind that it's all dirty. I didn't clean it yet. Um, you can see the fingers and the dust and all that stuff. And I only plugged uh, one part into the DC source just to show you how it looks. Actually, it uh, appeared that uh, I'm gonna need a bigger connector because all three three cables won't fit in there. So uh, I'll just buy a bigger connector and it should be fine. And other than that, it looks like this. As you can see, here is the cloth. Although it's not, uh, it's not as it's supposed to be, uh, because the edges are uh, rough and all that stuff. Um, I'll have to get it uh, cleaned, so it will look ni look nice and tidy. But uh, that's why that's what I but. You cannot see the the case actually uh, here that's why i was saying that it doesn't really matter that it's not uh made so well let's say but uh you can see it kind of here but anyway that's how it looks now uh let me go ahead and put it back in the box and uh, show you how it's uh, how it looks when it's packed okay so let's go ahead and uh, pack it back into the case uh, I'm going to show you how it's done because it's pretty easy. So there it is, it's all packed back in the box and as you can see it took uh, maybe a minute to put it all back together and uh, I actually fast forwarded uh, the whole process so that's how it looks. The box came out pretty well, as you can see it fits perfectly inside, you could probably also see I use some uh, foams uh, in between so that the glass won't get scratched. And it's just a uh, foam that is used for uh, cases that uh, people hold their instruments in. So if you, for example, order a case for your instrument or something like that, that's the foam that they're using. Uh, I bought it uh, on online and it's, I don't know, maybe uh, five millimeters thick. So it works perfectly. And, uh, and I guess that's it. The, the whole display is, uh, is done and uh, i hope you enjoyed the video also if you have any ideas or uh, or basically comments just uh, post them down below because uh, it might help some other people that uh, will be actually uh, going to build it by themselves i think it came out pretty well um, in consideration that uh, i built it all by myself i planned it by myself and um, i didn't have any special tools or anything like that it was all 
in a house environment build so i think it came out pretty well hope you guys enjoyed it stay tuned because uh, more videos are coming up subscribe of course and like the video see you guys